You're watching News 3 Now This Morning. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. 6.52, time for the morning sprint. We start with First Lady's visit to Wisconsin. Dr. Joe Biden visited Pratt Elementary School in Milwaukee on Wednesday. Dr. Biden emphasized the importance of COVID-19 safety for children in schools. The trip was short before she traveled to Des Moines, Iowa to discuss how the Biden administration is supporting families through the American Rescue Plan. Well, you've donated, donated a little more than 200 coats so far in our Coats for Kids drive. We need to keep those donations coming, folks. We're collecting new and used winter gear at all Clinky Cleaners uh, who are going to then clean them for free. Uh, they'll then be distributed through the Community Action Coalition. We hope to get about 6,000 coats this year, so yeah, keep them coming. A fairly new solar project at the Dane County Regional Airport is being called a win this morning. It was installed nine months ago, but today it's already produced enough clean energy to power more than 1,200 Wisconsin homes for a year. Dane County is working with Madison Gas and Electric to have renewable energy options at all county facilities by 2024. Breaking news. So, Summerfest will return in June and July next year. New dates announced, a little change here. The festival is going to take place over three weekends like they did this year. The final weekend of the 2021 Summerfest kicks off tonight. Court records show a Dane County judge denied requests from Republican legislators and Kansas-based hunting group Hunter Nation to intervene in the suit against the Wisconsin DNR board chair. Fred Prane's term ended in May. He has not stepped down, though, since the governor appointed a new chair. The attorney general also suing to remove Prane from the board. The legislators are seeking a stay of that decision while they appeal. Dozens took part in the Darbo Peace Walk Wednesday, that walk hosted by the organization Mentoring Positives. The group mentors at-risk youth from across Dane County. Members also worked on ways to reduce violence in Madison in hopes of building a stronger community. Well, you might want to check your bank account this morning. Families are getting the latest round of the IRS child tax credit payment. Most parents are going to get up to $300 for each child six years or younger and $250 for kids between the ages of 6 and 17. The Madison Night Market returns to downtown tonight for the second time this year. The market will be on State Street and Gilman Street from 4 until 9 this evening. If you can't make it tonight, the next night market is set for Friday, October 22nd. Two organizations once connected to the Boy Scouts have reached agreements to settle sexual abuse claims. The Coalition of Abused Survivors, Survivors announced settlements with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and the Hartford Financial Services Group. The settlements total more than a billion dollars. Of that, the church has agreed to pay $250 million. We are going to be warming up into the low 80s as we go throughout today. Thankfully, that comes with sunshine for your entire Thursday as well. That's one of the three things to know that we're quiet for now. We are tracking rain chances tomorrow, though. They are on the decrease, and we do have temperatures that are going to be near 90. Still yet to come as we go through that extended forecast. But here's a look at those rain chances tomorrow. Cloud cover moves in towards the afternoon. Notice the rain chances are still pretty spotty out there. That's good news for outdoor activities. Bad news considering the fact that we're still really dry and could use some of that rainfall around here in southern Wisconsin. But we'll clear things out as we start to move into your Saturday. Saturday stays cooler for us into the 70s. We're close to 90 early next week. Another rain chance Tuesday and Wednesday. Chris Reese, thank you and thank you so much for joining us. Make it a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow.